Hey guys, Dower here. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to compress your Oracle VirtualBox VDI files. Currently, I'm going to be working more. We're working with my XP virtual image here. My VDI is currently 28 gigabytes. Now, what you want to do is first go into your virtual machine, load it on up. And what you want to do is do a real super in-depth cleaning and defragmenting. I'm going to use CCleaner and Defraggler, both from Pureform. Open up CCleaner. And you want to make sure you want to make sure that you have this box checked for white free space. Run cleaner. It'll it'll remove all your temporary files wherever you have it set up to automatically remove, and then it will wipe your free space. This takes a moment to run, so just go ahead and let it go. And then I'll start wiping the actual free space. And it's very important you let it run and actually wipe the free space. All right, so obviously I've already run it here. So once this finishes cleaning, you can run it again if you like, but once it's done, you want to go into Defragler and you want to defrag. Again, I've already done this, so it's gonna go pretty quick. All right, once you finish defragging, now you get to the real meat and potatoes of everything. Go ahead and shut your virtual machine down. So what you want to do is open up a terminal, go to the location of your VDI, There's my VDI, so VBox manage modify hd xp.vdi dash compact. It'll start compacting it. And you just let this run. It might take a little while, depending on when the last time you compacted it was. It's been a while for me. All right, it's done. That took about two minutes to run. Remember, we were 28 gigs, so let's see what space it's taking up now. 18.95 gigs. We just shaved 10 gigs off that off that VDI file right there. So yeah, that's how you compact it. Nothing to it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Let me know what you thought, you know, all that jazz. And uh, thanks for watching.